What does that even mean, Bowers Game Cardinar? Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another game accessory review. Today I'm very excited to be checking out Half Seas Dice from Gatekeeper Games. Uh, these are going to be sets of dice that are on a Kickstarter near you very, very soon. In fact, right now. So if you're interested, be sure to click on the link below ASAP. But what makes these dice unique? Let's check them out. Alright then, so we're going to take a look at what you're going to get inside of Half Seas Dice. As I always like to mention, this is a promotional copy I have in front of me, blah blah blah. Even though these dice are, you know, they're absolutely gorgeous and spectacular. I'm, I'm only sure what two of the colors are, I'm not sure what the other two colors are. But I'm going to show you all four of the colors I have and what you're going to get inside of a set. So first you're going to get your little protective thing here, which is pretty nice. It will protect your dice. And you're going to be getting seven dice in this set. And these are Half Seas Dice, which means you may think it's pink, but on the other side, boom, you're going to get the, the dark greenish, bluish, or whatever... Uh, whatever set it is that you have that has the distinctive colors. This one right here is called Jungle Bloom, and I like it. It's got the pink going on here, and then bam, the green blue. So you're going to get a D4 die, uh, your standard D4, but obviously it's not quite standard. You're going to get your D6, and this one's going to actually have the numbers on it instead of the pips, which I like when they do that a lot. It's really good for working with children. Uh, you're going to get a D8, which I believe is that one right there. Uh, so it looks kind of cool. And as you can see, all the numbers are really easy and clear to see. I like how they did that. Everything is very visible uh, at pretty much every angle you throw it. Next, you're going to get D10. You're actually going to get two D10s in a set. You're going to get uh, your standard 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then you're also going to get 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, so on and so forth. Uh, so I like that they did that. Uh, next, you're going to get your D12, uh, which... As you can see, it looks like a D12. And then you're going to get the star of the show, which is obviously the D20. And I like I like how it just splits right down the center. That is really, really cool. So there's going to be Jungle Bloom. Uh, next we have the Moonlight Sonata, which is kind of like uh, the blackish. Then it's like, bam! It's got like this whitish, grayish, smokish color, which I really like. I'm going to see if I can focus on that. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, this is really nicely done dice. Very nicely ingrained. I mean, this is... This is top quality stuff, so it's going to be your Moonlight Sonata. Now, these two colors, I'm not exactly sure what they are, but I will show them to you. I like this one a lot, honestly. Uh, I'm not a Notre Dame fan, but it reminds me of the Notre Dame colors. It's got the gold and the blue, and I think it just looks really, uh, really nifty. Um, and just to put it side by side with your standard die, you'd be like, which one would you rather play with? I mean, obviously. Boom, get out of here. And then the final one we got right here is this one, which is kind of like a lightish blue meets a darkish blue. It just reminds me of, like... Kind of just up in the clouds. I like it a lot. Like it's just, I just want to orbit it. Just, ooh. Uh, but anywho, those are four of the half seas dice, and this, these are the half seas dice. Alrighty then, half seas dice from Gatekeeper Games. One of my final thoughts. Let's go over the pros. Let's go over the cons. First on the con side, there's one con, and it's obvious. And the biggest con with this is obviously, if you're not looking for dice, this one might not be for you. And that's one of the only con I have with this because. Moving on to the pros, these are really, really cool dice. Now, I'm not normally one to go out of my way to get dice or get fancy dice, that sort of thing. I know it's more for the role-playing. But these dice are just really freaking cool. And and I was, they, he emailed me and he's like, all right, I got some dice, I'd like to check them out. And I was like, yeah, absolutely. And I got them and I was just like, what? Like, I've never seen a dice like this where it's just so crazy. Like, oh, this is a pink dice. Psych, this is a green dice. And they're really easy to read and clear. Like, sometimes you get the dice and you can't really read them. You're like, what's that? Oh, these ones, just about every angle, you're going to be able to say, oh, it's a six. I know that. I can clearly see that. And, and the, the Kickstarter is really cool. They, they've already reached a lot of their stretch goals. They've unlocked a bunch of new types of dice. So you're going to see all these dice, but there's going to be additional dice that you can get. And people are allowed to vote on them. I'm not exactly sure how that works, but people are going to be voting on which dice they'd like to see. And another thing I liked about it was the price was not too bad. Like, I was assuming these would be like 25 30 bucks. Like, I was expecting it to be just crazy prices. Like, I honestly was expecting not to even mention the prices. But the price on the Kickstarter are actually something I'm like, yeah, I think that's reasonable. What, you get seven dice here? Um, but yeah, it's a really cool project. It's going on right now. If you are in the market for some dice or you're a big dice collector, a big fan of upgrading components in your games, look no further than half these dice. These things look really cool. I like them an awful lot. It's from Gatekeeper Games. It's on a Kickstarter you right now. Hopefully it's not over. Check out the Kickstarter link below and tell them Bowers Game Corner sent you. Also in the comments below, let me know what are your thoughts on upgrading dice in games. I've never really thought about it before, but actually, you know, after seeing these dice, I'd be like, eh, I don't know why I wouldn't, because I know I'm going to get uh, hopefully a set of these. 
And I'd be like, yeah, I'd throw these in this, to a different game, make it look nicer, because these dice definitely blow the standard ones I have out of the water. But what are your thoughts on dice? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. That was the review for Half Seas Dice. For more reviews and previews, check back at Bowers Game Corner.